Hi, and welcome to Making Changes, Totaling the Purchase. You might have to manually figure a sales total when at a garage sale, a craft fair, a farmer's market, or a hot dog cart at a ball game, any place where there's no electricity to plug a cash register into. Totaling the sale covers manually calculating the subtotal of the items purchased, manually calculating the tax, manually calculating the total amount due, and all without a cash register. Now if your math skills are well, kind of like mine, consider having a calculator nearby. Battery operated should have fresh batteries stored somewhere handy, and if it runs a tape, that's a plus. Look on your cell phone. Many cell phones have a calculator app that can act as a math backup. Your first step is to subtotal the transaction. Devil's in the details when it comes to math, so list your purchases in the left-hand column and the price goes in the same row in the right-hand column. After you've got those set up, underscore the final item's price. The subtotal is the sum of the prices of each item purchased, in this case $36. Figuring tax. You don't have to charge your customers tax on their purchases, but since you will pay the tax out of gross receipts, heavy fines and or jail time being just no fun, without the tax you're giving them a discount equal to sales tax. So. It's good to know the tax rate in your sales area. A couple of ways to find this out are a tax table. The tax rate for this county is printed at the top of the table. A county's website may also be a good resource. Please view how to use a tax table on our YouTube channel, Making Change Moby, for detailed instructions on tax table use. Sometimes the tax rate is printed in the lower left-hand column of a sales receipt from the area. Using that area's tax rate on a calculator requires translating the sales area's tax rate into a decimal multiplier that you can use on the calculator. For example, Douglas County, Nevada has a sales tax rate of 7.1%. That means in Douglas County, Nevada, for every dollar you sell, you need to collect an additional 7.1 cents in tax. To use this percentage on a calculator, remove the percentage sign and move the decimal point two places to the left, giving you a 0.071% on the calculator as a multiplier. Going back to our previous purchase with a 7.1% tax rate, on the calculator, enter the subtotal amount, then press the multiplication operator, X. Enter in your tax rate as a decimal multiplier, in this case, 0 0.071. Then press the equal sign. Round off the tax figured to a two decimal places. The third decimal to the right is five or greater, here it happens to be a 6, so you'll round up to the next penny. In this case, $2.55.6 rounds up to $2.56. Add the tax, $2.56, to the subtotal for this purchase, which gives you a total of $38.56. Hypothetical number 2. Craft fair business with an 8.5% tax rate. Again, to use this percentage on a calculator, remove the percentage sign, then move the decimal point two places to the left, giving you a 0 .085 multiplier on the calculator. The subtotal for this purchase is $20, but tax still must be added. Enter the subtotal amount, then press the multiplication operator, x. Enter in your tax rate as a decimal multiplier, in this case 0 0.085, then press the equal sign. 
$1.70 is the amount of tax owed, but this calculator isn't set to automatically display two decimal points. So you need to add a zero to the pennies column to ensure your addition is correct and you have your total purchase with tax, $21.70. Hypothetical number three, a 10% tax rate. Yes, some cities in California, 10% and over. So here we have a subtotal of $40.97, but the 10% tax still must be added. Now you can pull a calculator out for a 10% sales tax rate, or just move the subtotal's decimal place one number to the left. Then round up to the nearest penny. In this case, $4.09.7 rounds up to $4.10. The 10% tax rate makes the total $45.07 for this purchase. So, here you have learned to manually calculate the subtotal of the items purchased, to manually calculate the tax, to manually calculate the total amount due, and all without a cash register. Now, go to www.makingchange.mobi and complete the quiz on totaling the purchase to show your depth of knowledge. Thanks for the help of RenoWaterBeads.com, Reno, Nevada. Please send comments, suggestions, or new topic ideas to info at makingchange.mobi. Thanks for viewing Totaling the Purchase, and best of luck to you out there.